stop comparing the gay struggle to the black struggle. Why would you do such a thing? People can't walk down the streets and tell you gay unless you wear feminine clothes and be a film boy. <laughs> Child. Over, overdoing all the black women traits. Child, huh? Whoa. You're overdoing it. I don't hate no gay people person. I don't hate no gay person. Do I agree with it? No. No and no. Straight pride all day. But I'm not going to gay bash here. But this is about truth. Black men, the black community struggle is not the gay struggle. Can't compare. They see this right away from a mile away. Gay they don't see. Let you open your mouth and you tell them uh, 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 uh. that's when they know you're gay. And now the gay agenda is on. It's all good to be gay. People back, rainbow power, rainbow bright. Mocking Yahweh, mocking straight people, because we choose to build families, and raise kids. Folks, get this, in schools, we're going to be teaching eighth graders oral and anal sex. I told y'all a year ago, up to two years ago, I said, they legalize this gay marriage. What happens? The anus becomes a sexual organ to society. Not the vagina, but the anus. So what? You gotta teach on it, right? You gotta teach on oral sex because this is what they're doing. What do women do? Oral sex on the other. This is disgusting because you gotta bring it out there and you gotta talk about it. Because they're gonna be teaching kids. Oh, yeah, in kindergarten, they're gonna be teaching incest about incest and transgender. Caitlyn Jenner. Now they got TV on TV, uh, TLC. I'm just jazz. I'm a girl. No, boy, you're a boy. I just don't get it. They push it on you. People say, oh, don't put your religion on me. First of all, this is about faith with me. And if I speak on God, I speak on it. I don't try to change you, but if you want to speak, a lot of people want to speak on to people faith, but when you speak up and say something about faith, it's a big problem. I have no problem with people's different lifestyles and what they do in their bedroom. But when you start teaching kids at an early age that it's susceptible, it's, it's not. And you know what? You can't opt out. You know why? Because if you do, these schools won't get their federal what? Money. So that's school lunches, school programs, all this stuff that help children strive and build themselves up and build their confidence up will be gone. Who can study if they're hungry? So many people won't have to accept it. They don't have the money to send their kids to private school. They work in two jobs. So is their wife. How are they going to do homeschool? I hope and pray that I'm able to save enough money so I'll have to send my kids to public school if it continues to decline like it is. First of all, you shouldn't depend on the public school to teach your kid everything. You should be on it. You can spend 10 minutes with your child teaching them something. Read a book. Have them set aside some books. Hey, read these books. Do a report for me. And if you got something to say, you just screwed me or agree with me, leave comments below. Leave comments below, please. I would love to discuss this with you. And as always, Yahweh, all day, every day. Please.